Hey guys, welcome back to Three Question Friday. Uh, congratulations to the lucky three winners that I picked this week. I thought you had really interesting questions and they've gone in or they're going to win uh, a $20 gift voucher each for our online store, which is really cool where they can purchase anything they want. And once again, keep those emails coming in to me, guys. I really like it. I'm starting to get a big catalog of great questions. Um, you can always email me at ben at 13seeds.com.au and I'm happy to answer any questions you have around nutrition or just how to use our products as well. Um, so first question is from Florice and Fl Florice said, hi Ben, after having uh, our hemp based uh, ch drinking chocolate uh, for just two nights, she's noticed that she's already had a wonderful sleep. So her question is, does hemp drinking chocolate packed with the benefits of pure hemp protein assist with a good night's sleep? Now it's almost as if Florice has actually answered this question for me, which is great. Um, and you know, with it, when it comes to like sleep, it's very hard to know because there's like a million different mechanisms about why we get a good night's sleep. But one of the key components about hemp, uh, well hemp seeds, is the fact that it's really high in protein. Um, and protein contains, like we said last week, um, these things called amino acids, and these amino acids play a role in things such as, um, you know, uh, production of neurotransmitters, which regulate our mood, but they also have a role um, in sleep production as well, uh, and making sure so that we have the chemicals to produce um, enough of this chemical called melatonin, which actually helps with our sleep. So that is a potential reason. Another reason as well is the fact that um, hemp seed is anti-inflammatory based on its essential fatty acids, and this may all, might also play a role. So there could be a couple of different things going on, um, and it may even, even be the, ma the magnesium that's also found in hemp seed. So hard to say exactly, but interesting thing. Um, thanks so much, and it's great hearing about that sort of stuff. Cool, next question we have is from Kay. Um, Kay just explains, this is actually really interesting because we had a really cool question last week where I was talking about amino acids. Um, and Kay, Kay emailed me saying she explained that basically she's gotten an amine intolerance and um, that you know, she, can't, she, can't use, she might not be able to use some of our products because of the amino acids in our products. But the difference is that amines actually aren't amino acids. And I'll just sort of clear it up. So amino acids are the building blocks of protein, while amines are actually the breakdown. They're actually found in food. So we can find amines in food as well. It's a chemical that's produced from the breakdown of proteins by bacteria. Now, you don't have to worry about that too much, but just know that there are certain foods that can actually cause um, issues in the body for certain people. So for some people, these foods are just normally just broken down and it's not an issue, but for other reasons such as medication, supplements, who knows, there's always different reasons for these sorts of things. This can actually interfere with the breakdown of amines and it can cause many issues. Um, and you know, just for example, so if you, one of the amines is actually histamine, um, and histamine, you probably heard the word before, you've got like antihistamines you can buy from the shop, that actually blocks that effect. But histamines can also be found in foods. Now, I don't want to make this too complicated, but it can actually be found in fermented foods. So things such as, um, in particular, alcohol, um, it obviously is always fermented, so that can cause issues. Uh, hard cheeses, so things such as like Parmesan cheese and any kind of cheese that's fermented for long periods of time. And even things such as um, sort of our more probiotic stuff or probiotic foods, so sauerkraut, kimchi, uh, sometimes even yogurt, like anything that's basically fermented can cause issues for certain people. Uh, and this can lead to things such as uh, sort of like nasally stuff, so you can get a buildup of mucus sometimes there. In particular, you can get like headaches, uh, migraines, what else can you get? You also get like skin conditions, um, gastrointestinal upset. Sorry, there's a helicopter flying over my house right now. Uh, gastrointestinal upset, um, just to name a few, and it can even cause hormonal problems because these amines can even interfere with um, estrogen as well which is super interesting. Uh, so that's just something to be aware of, guys. Just if you ever experience any of those symptoms, just make sure that you first look at um, potential amines in the diet. And I'll probably do an in-depth Q&A about that so we can talk about that in more detail next week. Cool, that was a big question, wasn't it? <laughs> okay, um, last question. Um, I have to find out, this is from someone on Facebook, but I will find you, I promise. Uh, the question was, hello, I'm wondering if hemp seed products are safe for someone with nut allergies? This is a really, really important question because if you have a nut allergy, you know the severity of what happens if you have nuts. Um, and it's, uh, yeah, it can be, you know, life-threatening uh, and can result in very bad outcomes. So 
when it comes to uh, this question, um, I just want everyone to be sure and, you know, if you ever buy these products for your friends and you just want to help them out, that there is potential for cross-contamination. Um, and the reason why is because some of the products that we use um, do contain nuts. Now, this shouldn't be too much of an issue, but with any of these questions, I think it's always best to speak to your specialist. And I tell you guys this all the time, like any sort of medical concerns like that, always speak to your specialist and they'll be able to advise you further whether it's okay or whether it's not, depending on, on your particular sort of allergy or intolerance. Uh, yeah, so that's everything. Um, thank you so much for tuning in. I hope this one wasn't too confusing for you. Um, and even if you have questions about these questions, you can also email me those as well and I'm happy to answer that for you. All right, guys, thank you so much for uh, tuning in this week. I'll catch you next Friday or whenever I make the next video. Have a good weekend.